I think that uh, I'm, I'm from Spain originally, so my, my background is on concrete and brick homes. So I think that this is the way to go in this part of the country. We have severe weather here and the fox blocks and concrete homes, it's, it's really the way to go. So. Uh, and then the comfort that the house is going to present, the utility, uh, minimal utility cost to heat and cold. Cool this house. This house is about 7,400 feet yeah. air conditioned, and we estimated like two units for four ton units. So it's like my home. It's it's a frame home, and it's it has eight eight tons. Yeah, I checked them yesterday. So it's exactly the same amount of tonnage that you're going to use in a 2,700 square feet frame home. We're using Anderson's E series windows, which is a we wanted a cleaner, modern look, and uh, we've been able to accomplish that with the E series mm -hmm. and. This house is uh, uh, very modern. Uh, it's a spectacular design. Um, it's gonna really show well and, and, and actually be a very, very safe, comfortable home for the, for the owners. So, hey Randy, so what we're looking at right here is another application which is really great for using the ICF. They're able to do a, a retaining wall in a really, really convenient way. And then on the outside finish, we're gonna match the exterior of the house with the white stucco and it's just gonna really, really cr create, not only do a simple way to do a retaining wall, it's gonna be a fantastic look. The other thing we used the ICF for out here was to support our, our, our uh, gazebo wall. That ICF wall is doing is serving to house the pool bath and be a great sound buffer from, from the for the neighbor's property as well as have really incredible support for the I-beams system so it's going to support the roof on the, on the gazebo. What we're going to look at right here is uh, we're doing a rainwater capture system for this house. We're doing rainwater harvesting off the entire roof. So the entire roof is going to drain to the back of the house and it will collect into PVC, six inch PVC lines. It'll co come through a uh, uh, system and connect to these pipes that are going through the wall and then beyond that in the yard we're going to be building a 12,000 gallon storage tank which we will use the rooftop rainwater to irrigate the entire site. Site's one acre. Uh, we feel like that this is going to be an incredibly cost-effective way to keep operating costs down for the house. We're going to use the roof, we're going to use the water and really integrate and make this truly a sustainable project.